your story is pretty incredible, inspirational, and also sad at the same time. Can you explain it to everyone? Um, yeah, so in brief, I suppose the bit you're t- I know the bit you're talking about. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah. that's how I was born, and this is my <laughs> mum's name. <laughs> so start yeah, from yeah, the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah. First time I went to Gloucester. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, even though those are the most important parts of my life. Um, yeah, I was professional, lucky enough to be a professional rugby player for mm. 10 years. Played for Bath, Wasps, London Welsh, Dragons. But then in 2017, um, I was uh, recovering from a shoulder injury, went to a family friend's house for a barbecue mm. and effectively picked the wrong end of the swimming pool to dive into. Um, it was like a feature Shit. pool, had a waterfall in one end and I dived in where the waterfall hit the water thinking it was about eight feet deep or whatever and it turned out to only be three feet deep. Oh, my God. And I hit my head so hard on the bottom on the bottom of the pool that I dislocated the bottom of my neck. The disc in between the two vertebrae exploded and cut my spinal cord, lodged into my spinal cord basically. So um, there's a big bit of disc lodged in my spinal cord. That rendered me like completely paralyzed from the shoulders down like immediately. So I'm lying there staring at the surface of the water. First of all, like confused, like why can't I move? But yeah. then like, oh shit, I'm gonna drown here. Fortunately, my dad was in the pool and one of my mates, they saw what happened and realized something was wrong, came over and pulled me to the surface. But I, yeah, um, I'd, I had a really serious spinal cord injury. 45 minutes later, the ambulance came. On the journey between, from from the pool to the hospital, I thought it took about 15 minutes. Um, found out a year later that my family were waiting for me to turn up for two and a half hours because the ambulance had to pull over three times to resuscitate me. Oh my God. Yeah, I've been- v- why, why, because because water, because drowning or what? No, cardiac arrest from the spinal cord injury because it was such a high level. Basically my heart stopped. Three right. times so they had to resuscitate me i don't really remember any of that i just remember feeling sleepy and then the next thing i knew i was in the hospital there wasn't any sort of pearly gates or life was there nothing I, I got so many can continue i got so many questions and i w- had a seven hour operation and then I, I was in intensive care for a couple of weeks it was n- nine days i still had no movement or sensation return and they said that i was category asia a1 which is the highest level of spinal cord injury and i was never going to walk again and had to get used to life you know as a quadriplegic and fortunately as you can tell as we sat here and we were in a rowing race you know things didn't transpire like that i had a bit of a turning point after nine or ten days and decided i just need to do everything i could to try and get better instead of feeling sorry for myself um not actually thinking anything would happen but 40 hours later it did Um, my toe flicked and then bit by bit um my body came back to me to the point now i left hospital three months later in a wheelchair um, nine months later, I was standing, um, took my first steps. After a year, I climbed Snowden for charity. And now I'm an adaptive mountaineer and um, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. 